Let's now talk about positive and negative phase, which are central to the understanding of politeness in pragmatics. Under politeness theory, we can divide uh, faces into two kinds, positive face and negative face. Positive face refers to somebody's uh, uh, desire to have uh, involved in another group, in a group uh, especially to which one belongs to, or in any other group which he assumes to be a part of. It reflects the desire to have one's self-image approved by the others, as well as the need to be connected, to belong, uh, to be a member of the group, uh, where it is expected that when we talk to others, we respect uh, their affiliation to the group. For example, when you are sitting in a group of people and you, instead of saying to the selected people, let's go outside, you say, everybody, let's go outside. When you, when you say this to selected people, you probably violate their positive image because you leave them out and they feel left out. And you could recall some of the situations in your own life where you, you might have done this or this might have happened to you. This doesn't look nice in general social situations. So, uh, positive faces, uh, faces when we do respect others' uh, affiliation of a group and we include them uh, within that group or a part of society. Negative face is opposite to positive face, but however, negative face doesn't mean uh, something bad. It, it is just opposite to what we construct as positive face in relation to politeness. A negative face is the need to be, uh, to be independent and free from the imposition of others. When you, you are asked to uh, do something, you may not be imposed upon by others uh, when you are requested to do that. So this kind of freedom is actually uh, taken care of involves taking respect for your uh, negative face. It also can be referred to as somebody's right uh, not to be dominated by others and the act, uh, to act with uh, some sense of individuality or independence. Uh, for example, uh, in situations where we uh, give people options or we apologize uh, before in interruptions, we could assume uh, that we are respecting their negative face. For example, it is necessary to interrupt uh, in somebody's face. You might, uh, you might choose certain expressions like, I'm sorry to interrupt you, uh, but the matter is very urgent, so I have to just come in uh, or interrupt you. So in such situations, you, you probably take uh, respect for their negative face. Involvement is a concept which is very close to uh, the idea of negative face. It refers uh, to the need people have to be involved uh, with others and to show this involvement. Uh, it is a person's right to be considered as somebody who is a valuable uh, and supporting member of a society or group. For example, uh, we could show this kind of involvement with others by agreeing with them when they're talking giving them some positive impression that you are listening to them and showing interest in someone or their talk by, uh, by, by showing some uh, polite social gestures in sometimes or some polite social nods uh, or the word small words. Sometimes the word okay can be very polite in certain situations. Uh, politeness uh, strategies will differ from uh, person to person and uh, it will also depend on whether we are dealing with somebody's positive face or negative face because strategies would be different for positive and negative face uh, and it may also depend on other factors for example uh, how socially close or distant we are from the from the person we are talking to and is, uh, and we might depend uh, we might select different strategies for the people we are socially close and different strategies for those we are socially distant then also it depend, uh, depends on how much or how little power the hearer ha has on us. If the hearer or the listener has, uh, uh, has more power in a social situation than, than ourselves, we will probably choose a different strategy. And uh, if he has a little power than us, we will have, have a different strategy. 
and then it also depends on how significant uh, what I want is to me and how significant the same thing is to the others. If you're just trying to uh, talk about some uh, about something which is of no interest to the listener and you keep on saying that or keep on talking about it, you are pr probably imposing yourself on others. So when we are in a conversation, we need to uh, understand uh, in the beginning that the topic we're going to talk about is of some interest to our hater or not. If it is not, probably we will choose a different topic of his or her interest. But if we, we still continue with the topic of uh, no interest for the listener, then we are pro probably violating uh, the politeness strategies. Face and uh, politeness, they vary from culture to culture and society to society because uh, they depend on various social concepts. For example, as I just mentioned, uh, the idea of social distance, it, it varies from culture to culture. Uh, even the idea of friendliness uh, is different from uh, from culture to culture. In some cultures, it may be allowed to allow your uh, friend to enter your bedroom, uh, but in other cultures, it may may be uh, may not be accept acceptable uh, for the family to allow your friend to enter into your bedroom. Similarly, uh, there is also the ideas of independence and space. Uh, let's take the example of parents' involvement in their children's domestic or social affairs. In Asian society, especially in Muslim societies, we know that parents uh, have this liberty to interfere or even decide about their, uh, their, their children's social life and domestic life. But in Western societies, we know that after a certain, after the children reach a certain age, the parents do not, in, uh, do not interfere much in their social or personal life. So, uh, whatever is said in this domain of, of the relationship between parents and children, it has to be decided by various cultural norms we adhere to. So, uh, so politeness would also depend on those cultural norms uh, which we are a part of. Therefore, we could assume that politeness strategies does vary from culture to culture.